The content of this podcast has not been reviewed or approved by official sources. We are solely responsible for its content. Brought to you in association with Two Black Labs Audio. This is... A Week in Geekdom! Greetings and salutations, my friends, and welcome to the first ever A Week in Geekdom Reviews, the webisode series. I am your host, Giovanni Menendez, and we'll be bringing you all the reviews that you can quite possibly handle. As you know, our little show here first started off as a review segment in A Week in Geekdom, a geeky podcast dedica dedicated to everything from comic books, video games, movie news, uh, TV news, the works. You know it, I know it. Uh, all the stuff you care about, but that you probably already heard about, and uh, we're gonna rant about it anyways. Uh, but yeah, we had a review section and we decided to revive it. It was dumped up the first episode. I don't know why we didn't kept on doing it, but here we are on youtube.com slash a week in geekdom. And for our inaugural episode, I will be reviewing... Oh, and by the way, yes, this is a floating head amidst the darkness. <laughs> no, but uh, for our very first episode, I am going to be reviewing the animated movie brought to you by Warner Bros. and DC Universe. It's Batman Year One. Now, as you all know, uh, Batman Year One, or for those of you that don't, don't know, it's an adaptation of the great comic book story written by the great Mr. Frank Miller and illustrated by the wonderful David Mazzucchelli. A really superb uh, artwork right there, folks. And it basically, it recounts the beginnings of Bruce Wayne's career as Batman. Of course, as the, as the title implies, it, it is year one, so it's brand new. You don't got all the smarts, all the gadgets, and all the stuff you love, but it's a really good story. Uh, and of course, it details with the starting uh, with the rookie, a Jim Gordon at the Gotham City Police Department. As an adaptation goes, I thought it was a pretty good adaptation. You know, it's not easy translating page to uh, cinema, or in this case, uh, original animation movie. But I think the boys at uh, Warner Bros. did a pretty darn good job. I mean, everything was solid. The animation was great. Uh, the voice acting, I'll get to it in a little bit. It was okay at best. Uh, but really, it covered all the points that you wanted out of this great classic Batman book. And um, really, if you have a chance, read the, first, read the books first and then go back and see this DVD so you can uh, sort of see where uh, or what they took from it and what they left out but it was pretty much all there I mean it's four books and I'm guessing about 80 good percent of it was faithfully presented on the DVD and of course you can get this on blu-ray and DVD the actual box looks uh, looks gorgeous let's just say that it's eye candy for every Batman fan out there, and it includes a DC short for uh, Catwoman, which I will be talking about in just a tiny little bit. Uh, but first, uh, let me get this right out of the way. Uh, voice acting-wise, I thought it was great. I mean, obviously, Andrea Romano knows her stuff when casting. Uh, but um, really, the voice for Batman, uh, Benjamin McKenzie, he did a great job. I mean... It listen. It all can't be Kevin Conroy. So sorry, fans. Uh, but Benjamin did a really good job. Except on some parts, I thought it was a little bit monotonous. I don't know about you guys, but yeah, I don't know. It was it was sort of repetitive. I I guess there was no ups and downs for his role, and uh, he wasn't really there a lot of the scenes. So basically, I would have called it uh, Gotham City Year One or. Jim Gordon year one because basically they're the stars of the show and uh, it, 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 for me it was a disappointment because I really wanted to see more of uh, Batman and get inside his head as he traversed through Gotham City against a corrupt backdrop and uh, we've also got uh, Brian Cranston d doing uh, the voice for Lieutenant James Gordon he uh, uh, ladies and gents in my opinion the best work uh, that uh, 
that has been done for the character of James Gordon, the best voice I've heard for him. It's the ideal voice, the one I had in my head for him. And um, he also had Alex Rocco for uh, Carmine, the Roman Falcone, uh, John Polito for uh, Loeb, and um, Jeff Bennett for Alfred Pennyworth, and uh, a lot of great casting all around. And of course, Eliza Dushku for uh, Selena Kyle, uh, Catwoman. It was just a great casting. I think they could have picked a better Batman, but that was just me. Uh, and yes, it can't, it cannot always be Kevin Conroy, but when you make a pick like that, you gotta make sure it's top-notch material. Uh, but the story in and of itself was great. I mean, this is a spoiler-free review, folks, so I'm just gonna say, um, basically, if you've seen well if you're watching this and you're interested in Batman year one you've already seen uh, uh, Batman Begins and that basically has uh, tons of elements from the year one books but my main complaint of this movie was that um, basically it all happens like quickly you know what I mean uh, one scene takes place in one date and the other one in another and by the time you know it, it's over. And speaking of that, I didn't really like the ending. You know, I thought I thought it was kind of lame. I mean, I know the book ends that way, but at the end, I was like, wait, that's it? It's over? You know? And I sort of had that problem with the book. I, I mean, you wanted to keep it going, but uh, I guess, you know, that's what you get. Uh, I would have preferred a different type of ending, but that's just me. Um, but, yeah... One of the best adaptations I've seen, you know, the pages literally come to life. Uh, I thought, however, I thought it, would, and this is just a gripe. I mean, 64 minutes to sell such a, to sell such a complicated story for everybody. I'm just not buying it. You know, if you're gonna sell me this, you've got to make it at least uh, 90 minutes. You know, you're covering, you're adapting four books. It should be a little bit more. Uh, so yeah, I mean. It's on, it's on DVD and Blu-ray with a digital copy. You can get that in uh, retail and online stores. I highly recommend it, folks. The DVD looks stellar. It has tons of amazing bonus features, as always. DC always shines with its bonus features. And uh, with everybody at, at work in this, uh, which, of course, was directed by Lauren Montgomery and uh, Sam Louie. But... Uh, Oh, and uh, the uh, DC showcase for uh, Catwoman, that was a stellar show right there. I mean, it's not for the kiddies. I wouldn't recommend it, but it was a great animation, and I'm definitely looking forward to see what they do in the future with uh, the Selena Kyle character. So, uh, overall, I'm going to give this uh, Blu-ray, DVD, digital copy version of Batman Year One a 4.5 out of 5. It had all the good elements, it just needed that extra spice with a little bit more plot and a little bit, well actually a whole lot, at least 30 minutes of running time and it would have been an even greater adaptation. So there you have it for 4.5 out of 5, which is pretty good, so actually you should really check this one out, I highly recommend it. So yeah folks, this has been a week's in Geek a week in Geekdom's reviews. I've been uh, your host, Giovanni Menendez, and come back next time for episode two, where we will probably be reviewing uh, some of the new 52 comic books from DC. So until then, my friends, see you later. The Floating Head.